There's so much to grieve after a narcissistic relationship ends. And it's not just how they were in the love bombing phase or how they made you feel when they were being good. The future that you thought you were going to have. All those times where they were good and nice and kind and loving. But it's who you thought they were. Who they pretended to be. The ways that you were lied to and betrayed and manipulated and controlled and tricked. There's the time that you spent with them. The cheating, the abuse. When you grieve a narcissistic relationship, it's not just that you're grieving the good times or the love bombing version of them. It's all of the things they did to you. It's who they turned you into. It's the ways that they made you stifle yourself. The ways that they erased you as a person. The ways that they changed you fundamentally. The fundamental change in how you see people now. Your ability to trust. Your belief in people. Your belief in your ability to love. It's the ways that they isolated you and controlled you and manipulated you. Stomped on every single boundary until you had none. The way that they discarded you or reverse discarded you. The fact that they potentially already have someone new. The fact that they never loved you. Not because you weren't good enough, but because they're not capable of love. The fact that you now know that there are people that walk around who can lie to you and treat you so badly and not care and have this incapacity to love. And even as you learn about narcissistic personality disorder and abuse, it doesn't get you out of having to grieve the good times that you did have with this person and what you thought you were going to have and what they promised you. All of the carrots that they dangled, the promises of change, the future faking. And it's so important to feel that sadness, feel that terrible despair. Because the only way out is through, and the only way to heal, and yes, there is always a potential for healing, is to feel those feelings so that they can pass through you, so that you can process them. You loved this person. You would have done anything for this person. And they devalued you and broke you down and psychologically and emotionally abused you and potentially more. All the while that you were loving them. And your love meant nothing if you weren't serving them in the way that they wanted to be served. You bent over backwards and did everything that you could to try to make this person happy. To try to make them love you. And they never could. And that's a loss. And there's nothing fair about any of this. There's no justice. There's no accountability. There's no closure. Except for the closure that you give yourself. And you will be okay. And let me tell you something. The first step in your healing journey is feeling like you will never be okay. Like you will never be okay again. And feeling completely insane and full of doubt and ruminating. And like it's all your fault, because that is part of the manipulation that these people use. But it is not your fault, and you are not crazy. And the reason that you have to be here feeling all of this, and they get to apparently just walk off and be fine, is because you have the full range of emotions, and you have the capacity to love, and love deeply. And they don't. They don't, because they're broken, and they don't feel the full range of emotions. And even as you feel absolutely broken and destroyed, the reason you feel that way is because those parts of you are working. And they don't even have those parts, let alone parts that work. And you will be okay, but for now, you need to be sad. And you need to be angry. And let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you. Ready, set, let's go. Welcome to the Narc Abuse Breakdown Podcast. Love bombing can be very subtle. Can look like the narcissist actually making sense for once in their life. Narcissistic abuse is a predictable pattern of abuse carried out by a person with narcissistic personality disorder or high narcissistic traits. What are they going to use to be able to really control you? I'm Claire Auden, and together with Adriana Bucci from Let's Get Your Shift Together and Telsha Edinburgh from the Tea on NPD, we discuss different aspects of narcissistic abuse as well as reflecting on our own personal experiences. 